it's called 11 and it's meant for Drupal 8 uh, and it's it's built with the idea of uh, changing how a lot of the user interfaces are built uh, as you might know Drupal 7 and Drupal 8 looks a lot the same um, and basically that back when I also was involved in getting uh, Drupal Twig, Twig into Drupal Core and Drupal 8 um, there's so much work going in that it was actually hard for us to uh, to also begin to work on the the admin theme and that was a thing I really wanted to to work at because um, the seven theme got in back in 2010 ish uh, and I do like the uh, seven theme a lot but you know seven years goes by and stuff begins to look a little bit dated and there's other things I wanted to do so um, Last fall, I uh, uh, I came up with a theme called Flat Earth that was meant as a as a new as a not a replacement well a replacement theme or uh, an ad, an admin theme. I was trying to bridge the way between admin themes and front end themes, and what I learned there was that uh, it needed a lot of work. There's a lot of uh, uh, Drupal by default is still very uh, built in a certain way that makes the admin versus the front end not always be the same and that can cause some problems. So I began to look at the admin themes and what I could see was that, that we were very much stuck in old concepts. So what I really wanted to do was um, try to look at those, try to see what we could redesign and go forth from there. So I started the 11 project and it started out by building a design manual or design concepts for how stuff should look. Um, all that is in a sketch file that, that you can download later on. But this is uh, this is just my presentation of a short presentation of what the 11 theme does. So by default, as you can see, uh, it, it's changed a little bit. There's a ton of little icons on it. Uh, I added these uh, like sneaky little columns in, so you can like kind of change your layouts, uh, all depending on how much room you got. You know, height and sh uh, I didn't show help text. Have been added in as well. Um, these like the two, two, two basic pages. The so you can see out here on this side the the admin interface. You know uh, the the admin menu got a ton of little icons on it. Uh, and this this theme is heavily on icons, um, which is a thing I personally really like. If you don't like it, well, you know, too bad. Don't use the eleven theme because that's like one of the things that I really wanted to to add in. So that's kind of one of the things. The other thing that you will look at here very fast is that um, there is no table overviews anymore. Well, there's one, uh, actually, well, there's two, three. Oh, it's content, there's people, and there's permissions. So the content is still uh, still a table, uh, but um, everything else, as you see here over at the structure page, uh, have been changed to these cards instead um, and the reason for that is I, I, I do think that each element of a Drupal theme or Drupal, not a Drupal theme, Drupal admin interface do needs to become its own thing um, and and there's no way of doing that when it's just table of data. Table of data it works really really well if you're an admin uh, or developer and um, if I look at this for a uh, from a end user perspective, you know, tables are really not the way to go. And besides that, being a front end geek and have been into in this HTML, CSS industry for what almost 21 years, I do still have a certain level of hate towards table. But besides of that, uh, tables works really well sometimes. But you know, when you have uh, content types, structures, and so forth, um, it doesn't really make sense anymore unless you're really much into you. Know, being, um, if you're into like, if you're DevOps, I guess you like tables and you like your terminals and that's all good. But uh, I really want to make sure that the 11 theme was meant for the end user, which also as you can see here that um, I've killed the drop buttons. Um, the reason for that is, you know, drop buttons here doesn't make any sense. Why do I need another click to see what stuff does? Yes, it uses icons and little help text. Um, I do think that's make it better. Um, I put a little toggle filter in, so you can you can hide the filter. So if you're working on a small screen, you can actually see what goes on. Uh, all submit buttons have been added down to the bottom of the page, uh, which is also by um, by design. So um, let's take a quick spin here. So this is the content page. So the next page here. I want to look at here is you know structure, and if you look at something we as 
site builders look at a lot of is the content types. And again, you know, I've been trying to to remove as many things that I don't think that we actually need. Uh, you know, as many remove as many clicks as possible. Um, and give me an overview instead of what I can do on a certain page. Um, and by the way, yeah, this is set by a cookie, so it will always remember how many elements you got uh, basically for your whole page. Um, and we take it one step further in and go and look at this article. Uh, you can see we got uh, more icons to identify where we're going, trying to make it make it look more like you know an application instead of this default database structure thingy that we work with. Um, display settings and so forth. Everything has been like redesigned that way. Um, structure is basically much that. If we look at appearance, um, the theme section, uh, we changed that as well. Um, what I've been trying to do is focus in here on, you know, how does a theme look? Um, why is it that we why do we have so much data out there when actually what I just want to see here is, you know, I have a heart for it. If it's default, green, if it's installed, and these little icons, if the gears icon, if it's, this is the admin theme. Um, if you want more information about it, you know, you can you can click on the theme information down here to give it more of a, uh, you know, give more of a feel of this is, this is kind of a thing you download and you add it in and um, a more coherent theme. Um, if you look at, the next page, which is uh, this one, one of the the really hot one to crack, actually the the extent of you know modules uh, pages. Uh, I did the same thing here as well. Let's see here, um, I was actually trying to give each element like the idea that this is kind of an application. So uh, um, you know, these okay, these icons are kind of boring. Here we got develop kit. You can see the green icon says it's installed. We can show more data on it. Um, another thing I did was uh, let's say that you want to install something, but it's not able to be installed. Here's display suite. Um, display suite um, misses a few things here. So as you can see, we're telling the user, hey, this is not installed. Here's the info for it. I mean, you have to click for that. But the reason for that is that we actually want to make I want to give people more data to look at and want to make it prettier to look. If you want to install the module, you can do that. As it is right now on the module page, you can only install modules. So you have to like, you know, click on them and then click install. Um, if you want to update or you want to uninstall that separate page. So I remove the buttons if you can't. Uh, there's no reason to have a, a checkbox if you can't do anything with the checkbox. So I basically remove that because this module all them Maybe the current is already installed, but band isn't all big pipe. Um, and a ton of these uh, icons, they're all coming with the theme. So you just download your stuff and you drop it in. And of course, I'm gonna support as many as we can find. Go to configuration as well. Let's see what goes, up. goes on over there. Um, it's kind of the same thing always. Uh, another thing is, you know, sometimes you don't wanna look at these messages, like just remove them. Um, the I the idea here is to, to give each element of the page as much of an identity as, as possible. Um, so using cards, using icons, using colors. Uh, these colors right now is very much toned down. Uh, the reason for that is basically that I don't want to scare too many people away right now. Um, the concept for when we go out and final release is having different uh, color um, color schemes uh, defined and actually uh, the one of the way the way we can do that is it's not using Drupal's color module we can do that just by straight CSS variables um, so that I'm looking very much forward to but that's going to come in a later version another thing I was trying to work on permissions the permissions table is as everybody knows could be a real pain to work with um, a small thing I did uh, uh, when you, if you work on a really, really large page, it can be hard to figure out you know, what is this actually doing. And and now by having the blue underline, you can you get actually an idea of what is this, what is this checkbox actually going to do. Um, I'm pretty sure that we need to, or we should look at another way maybe of doing permissions. But you know that is for for a later day. Um, but jump into reports. Um, see what do we do here follow the new design from from 8.2 for the status report uh, which I really liked uh, we did a little bit of the code for it because um, this I'm using my own layout system here 
but basically again using little icons identify what is what um, here we got the arrows here we got the warnings um, one of one cron every all buttons are very like clearly this is a button it have is it's okay that it yells it out um, another thing if you want to look at you can look at that another thing that I've done in this in the 11th theme is thinking in ways of separating stuff we do in the front end versus stuff we do in the back end and what do I do mean by that well you know um, right now I'm doing back end editing but if I go up to my front page uh, not my front page my, my front of the site um, I really want to make sure that you know first of all my admin menu should stay the same but so so the admin menu up here or the admin toolbar is you know a part of the admin experience and the same thing with you know, here I got my quick edit I cannot have them to change and that's a thing that Drupal well Drupal 7 does that right out the box it uses 7 or 8 Drupal 8 uses the 7 theme right out the box what I want to change here and what I've done with the 11 theme is actually um, being able to change that uh, I'm going to do a tutorial later on how we actually do that it's really really simple it's just basically you do a base theme of 11 feet uh, because we call them front end admin tools but the, the idea is to you know make sure that that I can um, I can do my uh, uh, make sure that everything always looks the same um, so everything that you do with it, doing with an admin you know, that will always be the, the same experience um, so and, and the same way around let's say right now this is like probably the most boring front end theme ever so the having like a dark color theme works really well for it but let's say that your page is very much black well then um, you know having a black admin theme would be a real pain so in that way it would be nice to have that in another color scheme so so having the possibility of changing color schemes all based on on what you do so we can make the admin experience as good as possible um, another thing is you can see that I'm using this very very harsh pink um, the reason for that is that I want to make sure that you know if there's something I can do or should do on a page it's really really clear like if I click edit here you know that's gonna happen something um, and now I can see all the things I can edit on my page um, and and what I can do on it and I can click myself out of it and now it's also as you can see there's no admin toolbar just place blocks and editing and editing is what we're doing right now I go out again in edit mode um, another little thing that I've been wanted to do so this was a very short little version of um, the 11th theme I should uh, I hope you will download it and test it and play out with it it's released today on Drupal.org um, 11 is the theme name um, all code is done over at github um, and you can follow all of this stuff at 11theme.com uh, let me see 11theme.com there's probably a better way of doing C oh yeah spelling is hard when you've been like busting for days here we go this is the page for it um, you know go take it for a spin um, download the code and uh, hopefully you know come and uh, and help out with doing some stuff that would be, be really really sweet so um, and with that this was my very short presentation of the new Drupal 8 admin theme where I try to push some of the boundaries that we have had normally and hopefully get Drupal to not look like Drupal which sounds a little bit strange but actually is the